Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the channel. channel. Today we are headed back to Las Vegas. Yeah, we'll make some stops along the way, but if you want to see what it's like between Disneyland and Las Vegas, subscribe to the channel. Come get lost with us. Let's look at our room before we go. If you want to see our full review, check out the show notes. This is where we stayed for this trip. Nicey's ready to go. So glad we're moving out of our apartment complex. <laughs> they sent out an email about how they're switching to a new rent payment platform. Oh, well, that'll probably cost more too. Even yeah. though that's not our fault. Yeah. So yeah, so glad we're moving out. We just paid our last month's rent there, so. I don't have to worry about it. Something about you, like, now if you use this program, you get rewards. What kind of rewards? I pay my rent on time. Before we head out of town, we spotted us some theme park pigeons. they a little chunkier than the uh, desert pigeons that we deal with back in Las Vegas. But look at them, they little chunks. Theme park pigeons. Theme park pigeons. Bye, Anaheim. There's the Honda Center where the Mighty Ducks play. Oh, there's the Anaheim Ducks now. Looks a little cloudy on our way home. Let's see how the drive goes. Oh, we're heading out. Bye, Disney. The map said that there was a winter storm warning, but I don't know what that means. Oh, winter storm warning. It might snow. Fun. Out of LA, the trees just popped up. There's a bunch of houses on the hills over here. It's pretty cool looking. It's a beautiful drive. Just definitely be patient. That's the legit tip there. Be patient. There's those houses on the hills I was just talking about. Look at that. It's crazy. Imagine living at the top of the hill. That's a drive. That is a drive. I think we were over there yesterday. Check out that video in the show notes. Look at that fog rolling in. We are stuck in a little bit of traffic. Hopefully, according to maps, it should clear up soon, but look at all that fog. Yeah. We have made it to Barstow. Something I think is really cool is like all the sand being whipped up by the winds. That's what that is, those clouds are just like sand going up. You can actually see it coming up in some areas. Going into the sky, that's how dusty and stuff it is out here. It's windy. Yeah, it is a windy day. And then we just hit like this pocket of traffic. Why? Yeah. We in keep the like of Yeah, we keep like phasing in and out of traffic for some reason. This is where the California Welcome Center is, y'all. Welcome to California. So we're on to film. We're in a dust storm, y'all. Yeah? And it's interesting how we're already seeing Vegas billboards, by the way. We saw the Strat. There's the Flamingo over there. But look at the dust storm. Look at Eddie's World over here. Coming up. There's that, like, park that's like a sort of like a picture area. Liberty Sculpture Park. Uh, Eddie's World. And then it's just dust all around. We're surrounded and in a dust storm. Yeah, and it's been really windy the whole drive. We are almost to Baker, and we are going to stop in Baker and grab a bite to eat. Probably get some alien jerky. We'll see when we get there. We're passing a train, y'all. Look at that. There's four locomotive heads there at the front of that train. That's crazy. And then look how long it is. It just keeps going and going and going and going. so cool. I also find it fascinating all the tagging that's on the trains. Look at them, wow. It just keeps on going. It's like at least a mile worth of train, right? Right. Wow, and it's, it's still going. I thought that was going to be it. I thought that yellow was actually something else, but no, that's the train too. Just blended in with the desert. 
<laughs> oh, it doesn't have a caboose, it's just a net. <laughs> We have that sign, the billboard there is the end of the train. That's how long it was. Whew. Going into another dark cloud formation. This time we believe it's rain. But we have been wrong before. <laughs> and look at the dry water beds are getting filled with some water too. And some dust getting picked up too. Made it to the Mad Greek. It's a really good stop if you come to Baker. It's got good food. Definitely one of our recommends. Nice is making her purchase. So here's the strawberry shake. I love their strawberry shake. It's really, really tasty. I'm more of a chocolate guy normally, but their strawberry is really banging. And then we got two heroes and some feta fries that we'll show you in a sec. Here is the feta fries. These are tasty. And you got some tzatziki sauce. Macy got feta fries as well, and then she got one without the onions, and I just have onions, so not much different. There she goes again. In case you're wondering, that is the world's largest thermometer. Or at least it was at one time. I don't know if it still is. It's really big. Giggity. There's some people taking some pictures. World's tallest thermometer. <clears throat> and then this is the coolest place, Ali and Fresh Jerky. You come to Baker, you gotta try to hit somebody like the car in front of us, but then also there's Ali and Fresh Jerky. It's really cool. They're building a hotel in the back, which one day maybe we'll get to stay at if it ever gets done. It's been building it for at least four years now, just from us being here. <laughs> it feels like so. But yeah, we're gonna stop in and grab some jerky. So here's the inside of Alien Fresh Jerky. It's pretty cool. They got the jerky on the back wall and they got a bunch of different sodas and stuff. I like this one. It's pretty neat. They're fortune tellers. And they have a Trump one. And then they have a Biden one too normally, but I don't see him today. Yeah, this is the Alien Fresh Jerky. So they got this guy in the back of the store if you want to take a picture. And then they got some books too back here, which are pretty neat. Area 51, Art of NASA stuff. I also have some Star Trek stuff here occasionally. They even have... Uh, if you're interested in it, they even have some like popcorn, and some different candies. They're definitely coming more like Eddie's World, as I've noticed in the last few years. They've been sort of transitioning to some of this stuff. Chocolate covered sunflower kernel. That's interesting. I kind of think I want gummy bears or do I want sour gummy bears? Decisions, decisions. So here's the outside of the alien fresh jerky. It's like a land crawler. It's pretty neat. The detail there's a little car over there. It's like a spaceship with some aliens in it. They definitely have the theming down. Even up there on the top, it's like a bridge. So there's actually aliens like sitting up there looking over the road too. I like the place. We just got out of Alien Fresh Jerky. Gotta love cars that beep a lot. Uh, if you want to see a full tour, check the show notes below. We did do like a full tour of the store about a year ago. It's changed a little bit now. They seem to be more turning to Eddie's than they are what they used to be. It used to be like a niche Star Trek, Star Wars type of thing. And now they're kind of moving to just their own merch with some new candies and stuff. Yeah, so we got some gummy worms. Yeah. And right when we were heading out the store, the bag ripped, so we had to go get new sodas and a new candy and new stickers. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't too bad, though. Yeah, we figured it out. However, I think these are not twist oh, just off. Say, yeah, just, just say twist off. Okay. I don't know if mine is. So she got a Route 66 root beer, and I got a... Yeah, mine says too. Cyx Falls, which we've actually had Cyx Fall at the New York Mountain Fair. I, I remember it after I picked it up. Mm -hmm. it, it that's was why really... I was drawn to the Sioux City. Uh, so, so that's pretty interesting. Yeah, so we now have to get back on the road. And it looks like a dead stop. So hopefully Google acts like after this exit, though, it does clear up. We're hoping that. Uh, and we've got about uh, two hours without main traffic to get home. Hopefully it'll be that. Yeah, but we're going to keep taking you guys along for the ride. Yeah, and we'll show you around the alien jerky as we leave too. But mm -hmm. it's a pretty cool, pretty cool place. All right, we 
This is the last look at alien fresh jerky for us for a while. You see over here is where they're building the hotel right down the straightaway. It's kind of interesting because there is a food stand there and we've been here at all times of the year and that has never been open once. Yep. But it claims like food for certain orders, so you order here and stuff. We've never actually seen that open and that's been here the whole time. There is the hotel. Looks like they're going to have like weird shaped rooms and then they have more of a squared one behind it. But again, they've been building this since we've been coming here and it's been years. And it's not much further along than it was before. Yeah, there's the order place. I would love to get an alien pretzel and cheese. You should be able to hear us better, sorry about that. But uh, if you've ever ate there, let us know. We would love to see somebody who actually ate there and had like an alien pretzel and stuff because that looks so cool. I would totally do it. It's just never open. Yeah. yeah, and this cool sign, it's pretty neat. It was cool, all the TVs inside the store. It doesn't really come across on camera, but it was like 3D-esque. Yeah. So they were kind of like popping out of the TV. Which is really neat. That's like a big robot. And there's the world's largest thermometer again. So at Alien Fresh Jerky, we got some worms, as you guys saw a little bit ago. But I got an alien worm. They got to my worms, man. They got to my worms. It's a three-headed worm. It's in the food. They're in the food, man. It's people. It's people. I know that's not an alien movie, but it's still funny. Find another cool cloud spot for you. Check it out over to your left. You can barely see that mountain range peeking out with the snow. And then you look down the center, there's just clouds almost to the road. And we're taking the road to heaven. Where were you when we took the road to heaven? So we have officially are on the road to heaven. But uh, there is snow on the trees. Look at that, and there's snow on the sign too. I guess that's technically frost, but you can get that. Look at that, there's snow out there. So we've went from... Uh, desert <laughs> to snow and it's looking uh, pretty thick up ahead. What do you think, Nicey? Interesting. It's definitely interesting. We don't really get to see snow and we were just on this road two days ago. Yeah, you can see that video in the show notes below. And uh, yeah, we're about to get through the thick of it. Into the thick of it. I believe that's an old YouTube TikTok song. Look at that, you can't even see truck, it's still iced over. Oof. But luckily, this pass isn't very long, so we just gotta get over these hills. And then on the other side is basically Vegas, really. I mean, it's a drive, but Vegas. Almost there. There's a better look at that snow for you. Look at it, all around us. I don't think we've ever actually drove in this route when there's snow. I think it's actually snowing right now, too. Oh, and we're getting some snow now. So when people tell you it's only hot in Vegas, you can show them this video. Prove them wrong. As we're moving towards Vegas, this is what the mountains look like. It is a whiteout now. It's snowing. Everything's covered with snow. Just saw an idiot come on the interstate with snow on their car. Legit tip, get the snow off your car before you start driving. It's safer for everybody. Yeah, here is the mountains, man. It is really snowy. It's kind of crazy how it's changed so much. We're down to 37 degrees. When we were at Alien Fresh Jerky, it was like in the 60s. Maybe even the 70s, but now we're down to 30s. It's a crazy dip. The snow doesn't bother me. It's the people who don't know how to drive in snow. Snow doesn't bother her anyway. Snow. Snow. We've made it out of the snow, but something I wanted to show you too. When we were driving here, you'll see that video in the show notes below. I talked about the solar farms out there. And there's them in the daylight. It's like a big tower in the middle that somehow collects more of the energy. And then it's surrounded by solar panels on the outside that kind of reflect into the middle as well. 
it's a really fascinating thing to see when it's really sunny out. And it's, uh, oh, and there's the California checkpoint. But it's really fascinating to see, and it's actually significantly warmer. So like in the desert, when it's like a hundred and something degrees out, if you get the closer you get to those, the hotter it gets. It's kind of interesting. But well, we've made it to the California checkpoint. Only. It went 39, 40. Oh, yeah. It's, it's creeping up pretty quickly, actually. Well, that's the California checkpoint. And they don't care when you're going into Nevada, though. You can bring whatever you want, apparently. Right. Just don't take it into California. So, if you're ever wondering, Terrible's gas station does have a casino. I do not believe it's open anymore. Uh, and I don't know if it's going to reopen or not. But that's it to the right. It's got a big sign that still works because there's the terrible gas station is across the highway onto the left, which has like a big uh, gas t station and then it's a uh, ton of different little like stores and stuff. That place has been closed for a while now. It's kind of crazy. And this is pretty much the last exit before you get to Vegas. Coming into view is Seven Magic Mountains. It's a pretty cool attraction outside of Las Vegas. It's basically like seven rock statues that they put out in the desert by an artist. It's pretty neat. The truck, of course. Right here we're going past the Magic Mountains. But there they are. If you want to see us actually do like a full tour with a drone and everything, check the show notes below. But there they are, peeking up over the road. Now to get to them, you actually have to go either past them, either direction, get off, and then you take Old Las Vegas Boulevard, actually, and that's the road it's directly off of. Seven Magic Mountains. It's a pretty neat display. And you come around the corner, we just passed a Speed Vegas, which is something that we consider doing. Still might do before we leave. But we're coming up to Vegas. So there's Vegas in the distance. It's kind of interesting, you're just in this desert, no lights or anything, and then all of a sudden turn a corner and BAM! You hit a bunch of lights. It's really cool at night. Ba bam. Ba bam. And if you watch our uh, apartment hunting video from last year, we actually came out to Southern Highlands and looked at a couple of the places out here. This is the one that had the amazing hot tub on a stair, which was a fascinating thing. You literally were on your stairs midway up and they just put a hot tub there. It was like a weird, like, yeah, and it was carpeted. The stairs were carpeted, too, so it made it even weirder that there was, like, carpet around this hot tub. I don't know. It's just weird. Yeah, it was a weird layout. We obviously ultimately decided against that. Yeah. We figured unless it was going to Airbnb or become, like, heavy swingers, there, there wasn't really much use for the hot tub on the stairs. But here is Vegas, and we're hitting the South Point first because that's way out here. All right, that concludes our trip home from the Disneyland area. Yeah, it was a bit of a long drive, it felt like, but I don't think it was that bad. We hit a couple pockets of traffic, but nothing crazy. Yeah, it was an interesting drive. We got to see some snow, stopped in Baker, went to Alien Fresh Jerky, really liked that place. Uh, and overall, pretty decent drive, a couple yeah. of stops, but nothing too major. And it's good to be home so we can finish packing. Yeah. We're almost there. Yeah, because Nacy's heading back to California in a couple days. Yeah. And then I'll be back in a week. And then it's go time. Yeah. So if you like this, please hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And ring that notification bell so you can notify you at least three videos a week. And we'll come and get you guys for the next one. Ain't that the truth? Baby Ruth. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.